Start with number nine. A woman named B. Bellingham came across this in an antique shop in Australia. A movie fan named Adam what Howes cleared heck? it up. He says this Jeez. prop is Sylvester Stallone as oh his cryogenically frozen character from the 1993 movie Demolition Man. Oh boy. He used to hang from the ceilings of Planet Hollywood restaurants. No. Oh, yeah. House guesses it was once at the Planet Hollywood in Sydney and somehow wound up in the rural part of Australia. Oh, my gosh. That's that fine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had known about that before I decorated my own. Yeah. 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 It would have been a well. nice addition to have him hanging in the corner. Wow. <laughs> um, number eight, uh, and only because it's Wednesday, here's something. Oh. It's Look at Rico that. the Porcupine at the <laughs> Cincinnati Zoo. Ah, oh, adorable. Just Rico eating corn. That's enough. This is, do you need much more? No. I didn't know the porcupines had such uh, big noses. Yeah. Yeah, Robin, yeah, you know, you know, know you might be so listening. I'm not trying to they're shame not, him. I mean, I just did this angle, maybe body. it might. Yeah. Uh, what do you know? Kind of paint with a broad brush there. There could yeah. be a lot of porcupines out there with smaller noses yeah. Yeah. that are really hurt by what you just yeah. said. <laughs> He's a slow, patient eater, though, also. Yeah. It looks like one kernel at a time. But I guess they don't blink either. No. Oh, yeah. He's eyeballing. It's yeah. like he's staring into my soul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but probably a great conversation. This <laughs> That's great. That's adorable. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. All right, uh, number seven. There's an artist who posts screen captures from old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. And this one from the Flintstones has some people perplexed. <laughs> it's a public service poster, but people are wondering, why does Fred Flintstone have so much poison in his medicine cabinet? <laughs> why does he have any poison in his medicine yeah. cabinet? Oh, well, what's he got? Four bottles? That seems yeah. about yeah. for that time in history. Yeah. That much poison in your... Well, he did have some your back head. pain from bowling, and the yeah. next thing you know, you're oh, doing yeah. the oxy. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, he also had that old girlfriend who was troubling for him. Oh, brother. Oh. All right, number six. So just how much money does Gwyneth Paltrow make from her Goop lifestyle brand? Too much. Larry, I know you're Too a big fan. Yeah, what's much. the answer to that? According to Cosmopolitan.com, she is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The Goop empire alone is worth $250 million. Wow. And now, I didn't know this, she's joining the cast of Shark Tank. She's going to be one of the guest sharks, along with the other guest stars, including the CEO of Good American and the founder of Kendra Scott, the jewelry brand. And if she likes one of the ideas that's presented to her, she can choose to invest some of her own money into the project. Sure she can. Mm -hmm. She's always looking for the next jade egg. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. All kinds of things well, I can you don't where need. where she might be able to find it. <laughs> <laughs> and number five, this is a whale shark. They're not dangerous to humans. They are filter feeders. They just use their very large mouths to gobble up lots and lots of plankton and small fish. But look at this gif that shows how they do it. Are we looking at it? Or yeah, is it see, this is what they're doing right oh. here. You can see the plankton. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, mercy. What? They just, wow. they just suck it in. Yeah. Wow. I learned so much here in this uh, segment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Not what was that bird decision. we showed yesterday that looked uh, like the a secretary, the uh, secretary uh, bird? The secretary bird. Wait, we get. Is I that mean, the one with the great legs? The great yeah. legs. Great legs Four feet tall. Eyelashes. Wow, look at that. Uh, number four, if you'd like to eat like an astronaut, uh, try this NASA themed dessert from August 13th. 1969. All right. Uh, there was a special party celebrating astronauts. Uh, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Uh, and President Nixon wanted something he had never seen before, but he also wanted ice cream. Big sure, ice cream. Sure, 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 sure. So the chef came up with this. Are you ready? It's yeah. Vanilla ice cream right. with raisins Ugh. and marzipan Ooh. atop an almond pastry in a pool of dark purple blackberry sauce. Oh, uh, it, yeah. was a, it was a huge hit, Robin. You're, you're poo-pooing it over there, not to mention a full patriotic display. So if you love America, you do. Yeah. And you can make it at home if you'd like.
uh, perhaps yeah. for your Labor Day uh, barbecue. Yeah, that looks great. Hmm. All right, number three, there's a great class at Nebraska Wesleyan University called The Music and Meaning of U2. It's specifically for first year students. They studied the band's influence on music, politics, culture, and activism over the past several decades. And by the end of the semester, each student must submit a 10 page research paper titled U2 in 10. They must pick 10 songs, albums, people, and events they believe best reflect the music and meaning of the band. Jeez. Imagine reading all those papers. That's a lot of U2. Yeah. Yeah. That? Why just U2? Yeah, they're the biggest band of our generation. I mean, after the Beatles, right? Yeah, I guess. That's all. Can you imagine reading 30 papers? Yeah, but I think you said at the end it was supposed to be bands that were influenced by U2. Uh, so, well, I don't think it was all about yeah. U2. I think it was like 10 songs influenced by U2, 10. Uh, Why am I explaining what U2 is? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't listening to myself. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Hmm. All right, number two. Uh, look at this amazing device. It's a tomato sorting machine. Wow. Yeah, it swaps the green ones and keeps the ripe red ones. Now, how does it do that? Come on. Come on. Magic. How does it know how to do this? this? Yeah. Well, it's actually a color sorter. Uh, how? There's a high speed camera which processes oh. the color of each tomato, then it takes action. Wow. And that, another thing we're learning here today. Look and how quickly really? it goes in real time. How yeah. have we not put somebody on Mars yet? Uh, it is amazing. We got this right? technology. Are you kidding? Listen, oh, it's taking us two weeks to fix our nine at nine music. <laughs> yeah. It's already there. Someone, I think Look Mike Toomey that. has his own yeah. copy. <laughs> Look Wowie, at this. Wow, wow, wow. That's great engineering. Meanwhile, my IFB was cutting out during yeah. that office segment. Yeah. And you were, well, and you were 50, 50 feet away. 50 feet away. <laughs> yeah. I bet the boss at the tomato company didn't skimp on, a, on an audio board or a camera right, yeah, yeah, chip yeah. or whatever. They bought the best. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's the right. You can buy. That'd be a lesson to who's ever watching this crap hole. <laughs> Number one, Sesame Street always has some weird cameos. And in this clip from 1986, they just keep coming. Oh. They're singing. Put down the ducky. Oh, this is a great one. The ducky! Put oh, down God. the ducky! Put down the ducky! Put down the ducky, yeah, you gotta leave the duck alone. Oh. Well, put down the ducky. Put down the ducky. Put down that ducky. Put down the ducky if you wanna play the saxophone. Scooby dooby dooby. Put down the ducky. Oh, yes, you're going to put down, down the ducky. Put down the ducky. Yeah. So now to get it out of town. Ernie, put the cracker down. <laughs> put down that ducky. Put down the ducky. Yes, you've got to leave the duck alone. Well, you know, on the surface, those lyrics sound a little you suggestive. you got to put down yeah. the ducky. Yeah. Suelta el patico. you got to put down the ducky if you want to play the saxophone. Come on, put down that ducky. Put down the ducky. Put down that ducky. Duck, duck, ducky. Put down the ducky. You got to leave the duck alone. <laughs> Gotta put down the ducky. <laughs> put down the ducky. Put down the ducky. Put down the ducky. Put down the ducky. You gotta leave the duck alone. Gee, Hoots, you know, I really love my ducky. I can't bear to part with him. Well, you don't have to lose your duck. You can pick it up when you finish. I can? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Catchy tunes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that show could really get anyone to do anything, couldn't it? Yeah. Well, 